We are Tech Amigos presenting to you Shan Rispan. I am Kwan Shui Hui, the leader of the group. I am Muhammad Fikri Ashad bin Nani. I am Safiya Basira bin Timur Fazli. I am Nurul Nazia binti Ahmad Zakifli. Shan Rispan, how to get at your hand? hand. Let's see what are the problems until we come up with this shy wristband idea. As we know, some people are not concerned about social distancing. So there is no any device has been invented to alert the users if they stay too close. One of the ways to prevent ourselves from getting the virus in our body is by social distancing. Secondly, there is no wearable device that can alert the users about temperature, humidity and heat index. That's why we use DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor to notify the users. We think this wristband can help all of us because it's functioning to notify the users if there are people stay too close with them and give the surroundings heat index. Okay. The first objective of the Shan wristband is alert the users when there are people less than 3 meters apart from them. In these cases, Shan wristband's LED light will blink if there are people nearby us less than 3 meters away. The second, so the second objective of the Shan wristband is to make sure the users more aware of their surroundings. Shine this band will make people more alert of their surrounding which is temperature, humidity and heat index. So our last objective of shine this band is lower the risk of pickpockets and other crimes similar to it. In these cases, shine this band will give people more security a heads up. Moving on, please allow me to share with you the mechanism of shine this band. Shan has the meaning of staying away, thus aligned with the aim of our project to create a social distancing wristband. The components that were used are the Arduino bots, PIR motion sensor to monitor the physical distance between each other. The second sensor used is the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor to make the users be aware of their surroundings temperature, humidity and heat index. So, how does the mechanism work? It is practically straightforward. When a person is keeping social distancing, which is 3 meters or more away from the motion sensor, the LED will not light up. While when the motion is detected within the 3 meter range, the LED will light up and a buzz sound is heard, which notifies the users that a person or an object is getting close. Here shows the serial data for PIR motion sensor. Time frame for each motion detected and ended was recorded. The LED was programmed to be on for 8 to 10 seconds. These are the coding for the PIR motion sensor. These are the allocation of the pins, void setup, and void loop. The second sensor used is the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. It is programmed to show the temperature, humidity and heat index of the surroundings. Heat index is what the temperature feels like to the human body, where relative humidity is combined with the air temperature. This has important consideration for human body's comfort. The fluctuation of heat index affects our body's health indirectly. Thus, by monitoring surroundings temperature, we are able to keep our immune system at a tip-top condition. Our sensors are tested under three conditions. First, it is in the air condition room. Humidity, temperature and heat index are shown on the serial monitor. Next, the sensor is placed under the sun. The highest temperature recorded is 38 degrees Celsius, while the heat index is 57.8 degrees Celsius. Thirdly, the sensor is placed indoor, under a fan. Both the readings for temperature and heat index are shown in degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit to ease all users from all parts of the world. Each measurement has a delay of 2 seconds. Well, these are the codings for the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. What 
are the advantages of Shanri's band? Firstly, automated sensor system that can detect people nearby and notify the users. We use PIR motion sensor, which if there are people stand less than 3 meters, the LED will light up and beep sound will be heard so that it can notify the users. Secondly, notify users the humidity and temperature of surroundings. In this, we use DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. People should drink enough water so that the temperature will be at optimum. If we drink less water, our immune system will be at low rate. Temperature sensor related to the heat index. Heat index is the combination of temperature and humidity. If the ventilation is bad, the heat index will hide. That means we are at high risk area. Thirdly, the frequency used in this wristband is low. So the wave release does not harm to the users when we wear it. Last but not least, the wristband does not release any toxic or inorganic particles because the wristband is in close compact component which does not give any harmful to the environment and human. A study has been conducted to investigate the usefulness of our product. The respondents involved in the study are experts in medical fields and other relevant fields with 76.9% respondents have more than 25 years of working experience. You can scan the QR code for further detail about the responses. From the responses, we can conclude that social distancing is the fundamental step in preventing viral transmission. Also, we can conclude that it is more relevant to use modern technology such as automated equipment in healthcare as it makes our life easier. So, let me talk about the production cost for Shan this band. The first material we use is PIR sensor which costs RM15. The second material we use is DHT11 temperature sensor which also costs RM15. And our last material we use is other related materials also cost RM45. So the total production cost for Shan this band is RM75. Therefore, we estimate to sell it around RM100. Thus, we take RM25 as our rough profit before we collab with others company. Next, we hope that our project is able to reach a bigger crowd and benefit more people. Please allow me to share with you the future plans of Shan Brisbane. Firstly, as our project is a prototype, we hope that we are able to collaborate with electronics and wearable companies to make it into a compact smartwatch. Next, we hope that we are able to develop an app to connect the smartwatch to mobile phones via Bluetooth. Lastly, with the help of expertise from the professional world, we hope that we are able to mass produce Shan Respan at an affordable price in the hope to curb the spread of COVID-19 viruses and other contagious germs.